All right, guys, this is my multimeter. And to turn it on, what you see is there's a bunch of different things that you can measure right here. You just need to turn this dial to whatever you need to be measured. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's measure, say we wanna measure something like volts. So let's go ahead and turn it there. And as you can see, it is now measuring volts. Another thing that you guys might wanna take note of is that there are sometimes many different uh, of the same options for measuring the same thing. For example, this and this, this both measure volts. The difference is, uh, if you can see that little wavy line under the V for volts, the wavy line means AC. And this is kind of the uh, electricity that comes out of your wall. We don't want to measure that. What we want is DC, and the symbol for DC is this little straight line with a little dotted line under it. So this measures AC volts and this measures DC volts. If you wanna um, have a setting like this that has a straight line and a curvy line, that means that it doesn't matter if it's AC or DC, you can use it on either one. But remember, wavy line means AC, straight and dotted means DC, straight and curvy means AC DC. AC DC, oh nice. And um, what we're gonna be primarily measuring is probably volts in this little horseshoe looking thing, and that means resistance. So make sure your uh, multimeter or multimeter has those settings. So once you have your multimeter set to volts, and make sure it's to DC volts instead of AC volts, what you need to do is plug in your probes or your leads. So take your black lead first, which is right here, and plug it into COM, the one that says C-O-M. This is where your black lead is always gonna plug into. So plug in right there. Next, you have a couple different options to plug in your red probe. What you're gonna to wanna to look for is what you're gonna be measuring. Since this is the only one that says volts, as you can see there's a V, it measures a resistance too. You're gonna to wanna to plug this red one in right here into the volts one. And now you're ready to start measuring with your probes right here. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. So make sure to check that tutorial out and I'll see you guys next time.